All right, welcome back. Next up, we have Amit. Uh, Amit, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure, Seth. Uh, my name is Amit. I'm a developer programs engineer at Google Cloud. I work on Google Kubernetes Engine, Canada Project, and so on. Awesome. So you've been working in Kubernetes for quite a while. Uh, you know, I've been following your career. What's one of the biggest pain points that you see in the Kubernetes ecosystem right now? Yeah, so my primary audience is the developers, and I think developers deal with these command line tools whatnot a lot. So I'm seeing that in some, you know, inner iteration circles, there's a lot of like developer cycles wasted, if you will, that is like going towards just, you know, doing simple things around tools like kube control. So I like to develop tools and shortcuts around kube control. That's kind of my personal passion. Okay, and kube control is kind of like one of the main ways in which yeah. people submit everything to Kubernetes, right? Yeah. Uh, so what's, what are some of the problems around, you know, Kube controller? Where can we expand it or where are people hitting pain yeah. points? So there's like an entire open source special interest group, SIG CLI in Kubernetes that's dealing with that problem. Uh, one of the pro areas that they propose improvement is that, you know, they, they cannot possibly implement everything that people want. So they wanted to provide some extension capability around kubectl. So they basically said, hey, why don't we provide a plugin system so that people can write their own prog programs around kubectl and they can invoke them through the kubectl command line. Okay, have you written any plugins yourself? Yeah, I've been playing with some plugins myself. Uh, one thing that actually I've been working on is a plugin manager called Crew. So this is basically like uh, Brew on Mac OS, and this, but that, with Kubernetes K, so Crew. Uh, so so there, there's so some nautical team there if you can catch that. So K K R E W, yeah, not C R E W. Yes, okay. yes, that's right. So um, this is a project that we've been working on at Google Cloud. It's actually uh, this, this project was started by my intern this summer, uh, Luke Burchard. Uh, his LBB on GitHub. Uh, so he's a super cool guy, and we started this project called Crew. So what Crew does is it's a plugin manager for KubeCuttle. So if you want to discover plugins, if you want to install plugins, you go to Crew, install Crew onto your computer, and then from there you can discover new plugins and just bring them to your machine and then use it with KubeCuddle. So I assume it's open source? Yes, this is open source. We haven't announced it a lot. I guess this is probably the biggest announcement so far. You hated her first, people. Yeah. And then um, right now we're in the process of talking to uh, 6CLI to perhaps donate this project to Kubernetes Open Source Committee and make it a non-Google project. All right, well, so let's, let's get technical for a bit yeah. since this is the announcement. Yes. How does Crew find plugins? Is there a registry, yeah. GitHub? How do we find them? So we have a central registry on GitHub that we operate currently. Uh, anyone who develops plugins, they, we just need those people to package their plugins into, say, some like a tarball or a zip file, and then they write a manifest file describing how the plugin should be installed. And then they submit this plugin manifest style file to the central repository that we have. And then from there, everyone can discover those plugins. So if you're like shopping for some, let's say, a plugin to view the logs, you don't have to go to like Google search and like search, oh, like what are the plugins that I can use? So you can just come to Crew and search for logs, and then we'll show you all the plugins that are about log viewing. Well, so let's go. Let's go back. Let's say yeah. Crew doesn't exist. Yeah. How do I get a plugin into Kubectl today without Crew? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, you need to find that a plugin that you're looking for exists. I think that's one of the biggest problems, and that's one of the primary reasons that we start a crew. Discoverability is one of the largest problems out there. So after you find the plugin, you need to download to your package, and then you need to name it in a specific way. So let's say you have a plugin called Foo. So you need to name it kubectl-foo, and then put it into somewhere in your path. And if you put it in your path and everything is good, you can invoke it by saying kubectl space foo. So that's how we install and set up plugins. That sounds like a lot of magic. Yeah, so imagine you're installing like 10, 15 plugins and you have to keep them up to date because you know all these plugins will have newer versions. So that's another thing that Crew solves really well. We manage the plugin lifecycle and uh, we can bring the updates automatically. Uh, you basically say, hey, like uh, kubectl crew update and we basically update all these plugins if they have newer versions. Awesome, so this thing sounds really cool. One, where can people get more information? And two, what's what's the future look like for Crew? Yeah, um, so people can go to github.com slash Google Container Tools slash Crew with K. Um, feel free to try it out. I think we're on something like version 0.2. This is still very early days. Uh, so far it's been working fine. We have over, uh, I think, almost 20 plugins. Uh, by the way, there are not a lot of plugins yet. So we also want people to like think about plugin ideas and what to develop. Um, but also, we want to donate Crew to Q Kubernetes project. So we want it to be a Kubernetes SIG uh, CLI project that perhaps someday eventually rolls into kubectl and so that you can just say uh, kubectl plugins install foo, right? So that we want to go to a world where um, these sort of things are easily discoverable and manageable. Awesome. Thank you very much, Amit. Thank you, Seth.